Hello, my name is Oliver Pettit, and I'm from Hastings. Oh, yeah! Once upon a time, there was a family of bears. It was nice and peaceful in their part of the woods. Papa and Mama Bear were always kind and tended to their three young cubs with care. Mama Bear, though, had to leave. A poisonous snake told her to leave and go to her home far away. He promised her for only a little while. A friendly leave turned to deportation. You can't stay. You aren't from here. It hisses, curling around and swaying from side to side, tightening its grip with the promise of trouble. Mama Bear and Papa Bear with teary eyes leave each other so Mama Bear could leave. Mama Bear took the youngest cub with her. The two older cubs were left with Papa Bear. Things began to crumble. A family split in half. Days turned to weeks and weeks to months. Mama Bear did not come back. The two cubs began to lose their dad and instead played by themselves. The Papa Bear was gone and the two youngest scampered to the edge, going into trash cans, ripping into packages and eating anything they could, catching their own fish and scampering around with playful growls. They simply forgot the youngest cub and their Mama Bear. Months turned to years. One day, they were staying with their Papa Bear's mother, eating berries and playing, an unfamiliar bear came back with Papa Bear. The family of bears came together, and the two cubs gained the youngest once more. It was happily ever after to the tale went on. People kept turning the page. The nice, sweet pages were spilled over on coffee, dripping and soaking, a dog gnawing at the spine, too ruined to return to the library. This life continued on with its coffee stains and ruined spine. The two eldest cubs lost their time to play. Playful growls became real and threatening, and over time, the family completely fell apart. But let me tell you this. People will say that it's only because you are a teen that you're going through puberty. Let me burst your bubble. That family of bears is my family. I'm the eldest bear who lost her mom and dad to everything. It has been this way since we were young, not 14. Our family does not give words of love to each other. We can't even be in the same room without fighting. We are not a regular family that I know. Regular families don't have these problems. Regular families don't deal with the things we do. Regular families don't have a knife being, being thrown at the other out of a fit of anger. Regular families don't have one rip skin off the other's arm, find their father passed out on the couch after drinking, spin out cars on ice, cancers and smoke in the air, a thick smog, cats and dogs that never stay. They are loving even with their problems. Us kids in the Pettit family had to grow up fast. We are very aggressive with each other because no one helped us or taught us how to love. Instead, we yell, hit, and go ballistic, we hurt each other mentally and physically. In this house, the kids are grown and ready to fight. It's all a war because it's all we've ever known. The family of bears in this fairy tale were burned alive in scalding water by a poisonous snake. Once upon a time, no one cared for three bears. <laughs> <laughs>